be a great weekend to do something outside. But if you're a fan of Deadpool mm -hmm. or Wolverine Guilty. or the Avengers, Guilty. all of the above, right? <laughs> the only place to be is inside the Javits Center. That is right. Comic-Con is back. And with it, thousands of fans dressed in costumes are descending on 11th Avenue in hopes of sharing their love of all things related to the comic books. Our superhero entertainment reporter is there live as her alter ego. <laughs> you might know her, Joelle Gargiulo. Joelle, what are we going to see? Well, you're going to see a little bit of everything. So 200,000 people are expected to come through here through Sunday. I have been here all day. I've seen a lot of Beetlejuice, a lot of handmade costumes, a lot of things I don't know, and pretty much every single thing in between. But the biggest takeaway so far for me today is this is a judgment-free zone. Anything goes. Or, as an official told me, let your geek flag fly. It's showtime. Comic-Con, a pop culture convention bringing fans of comics, movies, TV shows, and video games to Gotham City. It's Wolverine Park! Drawing over 200,000 faithful fans from across the universe, or at least the East Coast. Ah! Coming in costume, of course. From the amazing Spider-Man to Deadpool, Wolverine, and pretty much everything in between. It's such a fun, like, uh, inclusive space. You get to express yourself in however many ways you choose to be. The energy is just bustling. It's awesome. Fallon Prince of Alley is the marketing director of Reed Pop, the company that puts this all together. So we've got panels, you've got meet and greets, you can get autographs, you can go shopping. Or am I missing anything? Uh, Artist Alley is the cool is the coolest thing here. I think personally, Alley? yeah, it's the heartbeat of our show. It's where a ton of comic creators there. You can buy prints, get unique art, have your comic book signed. It's really the heartbeat of what Comic Con has always been, and so that's something I recommend everybody check out. The event isn't just fun and cosplay. It's big business with New York City tourism estimating it will generate over 80 million dollars in economic impact. Fantastic New York Comic Con in a city where anything can happen for four days. At Comic Con, everything does. Okay, I just want to tell you guys there are still tickets available for today. That's the only day. The rest of the weekend is sold out. However, the big panels that they're going to have, those will be streaming online for free.